Hey everybody, Jeremy here. I'm here with Nick today. Hi Jeremy. We're going to be talking about the Teams API today. Why would a developer want to use the Teams API on Microsoft 365? Yeah, so the Teams APIs allow you to create new teams and add channels to those teams, add members to the teams, change settings in the teams, add tabs into those channels that you created. And then when you're done with a team, you have a, you have a fully functioning team. And then when the team has run its, its life cycle, you can then archive or delete that team. So what are some of the real world scenarios you see customers using the API uh, for that kind of functionality? Yeah, there's a couple different things that people build with this. Uh, the first thing is they, uh, they bulk provision teams. They have 10,000 teams they need to create, say uh, one for each class at the start of a semester. Mm -hmm. And so they just spit out 10,000 teams. Uh, another thing they do is they uh, create temporary teams. So for instance, if you're an airline and you want to fly a flight every day and have a team for each flight you fly, you can, at the stroke of midnight, create the teams for the next day. And the third thing that people do a lot is admin tools. They just administer their, uh, their teams. Uh, so the PowerShell commandlets that Teams has are built on this, and the modern portal for admins is also built on the Graph APIs. Oh, that's neat. So what's the best way for a developer to get started with the Teams APIs? Yeah, yeah let me show you a quick demo here. So this is our Contoso Airlines. At the stroke of midnight, they create a new team. So a um, couple steps to this. First is just figure out who you want to be in the team. Otherwise, it's not a very interesting team. Once you have those list of user IDs, you can then create a group by posting to slash groups, passing in that information we gathered. And the group is really the thing that holds it all together. Every, every team belongs inside a group because the group also provides things like the files, the, the SharePoint files and all the other goodness you get from Graph. Then once we have that group, we do an HTTP put to slash groups, slash group ID, slash team, and create the team with the settings we want. And we see flight 157 has appeared over here. Stash away that team ID because we'll need it. Uh, we'll next create a channel by posting to slash teams, slash team ID we just saved away, slash channels, passing in name and description of the channel we want to create. We will uh, get a pilots channel in just a moment, pilots, and let's add a tab to it. Let's add a map tab that will show us uh, what the airport is that we're going to land at. So we'll post to slash teams ID, channels ID, tabs, and we'll say it's going to be a website tab that uh, points to a map. I'll give it a moment to uh, propagate over here. Oops, got to make sure you're in the right channel first. Here's our map. That's like really to, neat. Like so to, what's an example of another tab that you could add into this channel? Yeah, you can uh, do really all the tabs that the team supports. So Word documents, Excel, um, PowerPoint, but also one of my favorites is SharePoint lists. So I'll show you an example of that. We can create a list of challenging passengers for this flight by uh, first we get the site object there. And then we can create a, a, the raw list itself post slash sites slash ID slash lists, pass in some column definitions, uh, also add, now that we have a, a empty list, we need to add some challenging passengers to a challenging passenger list. And then we have to create a new tab for it to display it. So again, post slash teams ID, channels ID, tabs. And when we do that, we'll have a uh, SharePoint list that's rendered inside Teams. Here we have our challenging passengers list. And the challenging passenger turns out to be me because I snore on planes when I fall asleep. Which... That's why you have noise canceling <laughs> headphones, right? That's right. Well, I have to have one for all the neighbors. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I hope everyone who's watching this sees how powerful the Teams API can be on the Microsoft Graph. So please go check that out on graph.microsoft.com. And thanks, Nick. Thanks, Jeremy.